What's up superstars? On this video we're going to be unboxing and testing out a brand new heat press that we just got from Amazon. Now this heat press is from Yida Home. It just got released on June 15th, 2023. There's absolutely zero reviews on this so we wanted to have a head start, give this one a test so that we can give you guys a review on what we think about this. Now the reason why we stumbled upon this heat press, if you guys haven't watched our previous video where we tested out different heat presses from Amazon that were under $300, make sure you watch that video. We stumbled upon a HTV Rant heat press. We really liked this heat press. We were really rooting for this one to win. One of the main reasons was it was very compact, but the most important, it had this automatic function where it pressed the shirt itself. Now this was a very, very cool function. Again, we're rooting for this one, but unfortunately it passed all the tests except the wash test. Now, one of the reasons what happened with the wash test, it just didn't have enough pressure. Now, everything transferred through, everything is fine. It's not gonna lift off, but what we noticed was that there was a little bit of bubbling on the shirt. Now, this happens when there's not enough pressure. So, this was one of the main factors why it did not pass our test. And there is gonna be a hack video that I'm gonna be shooting later on that we're gonna be exploring and seeing if we can fix this issue. So you definitely don't wanna miss that. Make sure you guys subscribe to that. But this video is not about this HTV romp. It's about the Zeta Home heat press. So let's go ahead and open this up and let's go ahead and check this out. Now, quick disclaimer, we're not affiliated with this product. We are just testing it out to see if it works for you and under your budget. Now, what we're also gonna be doing is going to be a pressure test, a heat test, and in the end, we're gonna be doing a wash test. So you definitely wanna to watch to the very end so that you guys can catch all of that. All right, so let's talk about this heat press. It's gonna be a 15 by 12 inch heat press. Now, it, the main thing here is that it has an automatic close and open. That's one of the features that really caught my eye. It's a lot less fatigue on yourself when you're using this. It also has a fast heating chamber with a built-in NTC timer sensor. So it's supposed to heat and also heat up quickly and also retain the heat. That's something that we're gonna be testing out. And it also automatically shuts off after 30 minutes of inactivity. And it ranges between 100 to 410 degrees, so it goes pretty hot. And again, it is pretty stylish compared to any other heat presses that I've seen. So, you know, that might be something that will be easy to use when we're loading up t-shirts, but that's pretty much the specs here. It also is uh, 800 watts, so it's actually on the low end of the wattage. So I'm gonna be, it's gonna be pretty interesting on seeing how it heats up and how it retains the heat. But let's go ahead and turn this on so that we can go ahead and get the timer and, and also test out how long it takes to heat up to 300. So let's go ahead and plug this bad boy in. I'm gonna get my timer ready. So now it's turning on, right here's the knob. So all I need to do is, I'm gonna go ahead and just press the on button. Okay, then it's on already. Oh, it's automatically moving, so that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and set the temperature. Okay, there you go, that's the temperature. Okay, I'm gonna lower it. I'm gonna start my timer. And then let's lower it to 300 degrees. press it okay and then there I'm gonna try to go here to the the timer let's try to do the timer oops nope okay so I'm trying to get to the setup okay that's good There you go, wait, hold on. Okay, the timer set. How do you set, I mean the temperature set, how do you set the timer? So let me. Okay. 
Let me look at the instruction book. Turn the, the display half to the left. Okay. Okay, there you go. So you kind of have to ship, go counterclockwise to get to the timer zone. And there you go, seven seconds. All right, it was just like that. So it's heating up. It's only been less than two minutes and that's pretty good, 240 degrees. Um, typical heat presses take up, up to about four to five minutes to heat up. So it seems like it's heating up very quickly. We'll go ahead and come back once it's kind of closer to 300. It's coming up to 300 now, 291. I hear a little click, so that means it's kind of uh, balancing off right now. It only took about two minutes and here, it just jumped to 300. So it took two minutes and 45 seconds to get to 300. And I already hear it beeping a bit, so I know it's at temperature and it feels very hot. So now let's go ahead and do a heat test. So let's go ahead and get our gun. The top part, top right quadrant is gonna be 226. I have a 210 right here. 202, 220, 263. I'm gonna test the bottom out as well. The top, about 230. So it's not quite 300. It didn't hit that temperature. Uh, let me go ahead and lay the heat press down and I'm gonna go ahead and see what the heat is after the press is on it. So let's go ahead and press that button. That's pretty cool. And then the countdown happens right after that. I'm reading at 80 degrees right now. So once the countdown is off, let's go ahead and so I hit about 220. Let's do it one more time. Okay, so same thing, about 225 at the very height of that. So it is definitely on the lower end it definitely didn't hit the 300, but the, the, heat is, the heat is where it's at. But let's go ahead and take a look at the pressure. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do a dollar bill test and we're gonna measure out the pressure. Let's go ahead and press. This is going to test out the evenness of the pressure. So it's not enough pressure. The top has pressure, sides rarely. So it's failed the pressure test. Um, I was a little skeptical because it's automatic and there's no pressure settings here. But that's basically what I, my conclusion is on the pressure test. It's just not enough pressure. But I'm still gonna go ahead and run through our regular heat press test, and then we're gonna go ahead and do a wash test and see how that holds up. Now, before we get started here, let's go ahead and measure the area. So it's, it claims to be uh, 12 by 15, and this pad here is actually 15 and a half inches. So it's actually exceeding that 15 inches. And as far as the height here, it is gonna be 12 and a half inches. So it does, it does uh, re hit the requirements here, but let's go ahead and test out the heating element. So 15 inches is what I'm getting. And then I'm getting 11, 11 and 3 fourths. So it's almost the, the 12 by 15, but not quite there. But the pad on the bottom, at least it is big. It is a big area. 
One thing I'm noticing as well is that this is um, something that is not secure and it will move around and it's not very heavy. So there's not a lot of weight holding this down. So that's some of the feedback that I'm able to see right away. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to be pressing onto a shirt. Now, the tester shirt that we're using is a Bella Canvas 6400. Now, this is a size small. It is a poly cotton blend, so 52% 50 cotton, 48% polyester. The measurements across the chest is gonna be 16 inches. And the height of this small shirt is going to be 19 inches. Now the transfer that we're going to be testing today is going to be this design. Now I'm going to go ahead and measure the design so you guys can see what I'm going to be using here. The width of this design is going to be about 8 inches. And then the height of this is going to be 14. So 8 by 14 is a rather long print. Now with this heat press, I mean, we, we love to load our shirts normally. We're, we come from a screen printing background, so loading the shirts, we usually load it backwards, but it is, it is front, front and back. Now with these types of heat presses, it is actually a lot wider than it is on the long end. So if you're trying to do a transfer like this, it's not going to work. We're gonna to have to turn this one sideways to get this one pressed. So that is also another downside with this heat press. So measuring, me, measuring this is also a bit more difficult. There's just not a lot of room to work with. I think if you're doing like bags or something that is besides a t-shirt, this might work for you. But so far it is challenging to measure or to align your t-shirt on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold our transfer in half. I'm gonna go from end to end so I can get the midpoint. I'm gonna give it a quick fold. And then I'm going to place it right here. Again, I'm just eyeballing it. This is, the purpose of this is to heat press it and to test out the transfer and how long, how it will last actually on our uh, wash test. So now that it's aligned, everything looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and press this button and let's go ahead and press. Seven seconds. I do see it clamping down and then the rear is adjusting and then it's adding pressure. But I just, that's why it takes, it takes some time for the timer to go off. Okay, let's go ahead and let this, cool, this guy cool down. Welcome back guys. I know you're excited to see the wash test. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now, as, you, as I mentioned yesterday, we did have issues with the pressure test. We had to use one of these extra pads in order to create more pressure. So all, in all fairness, it wasn't a complete um, a standalone test here. We did modify this a bit, but let's take a look at the results. So overall, with the pad, I had really good pressure on the front and the back end and also the middle. So the middle had enough heat. And what I'm looking for here is the fine little grain lines that run across the shirt. They are present in the shield and in the chest of the bunny. It shows that the transfers transferred through because there was enough pressure there. Now when you focus onto the shoes, which is the, 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 the side of the heat press, this is where we lost a lot of pressure. The dollar bill slipped out and I can see that's very apparent when you're looking at the details on the sole. You have the colors that are inconsistent. You have a lot of fading here that's premature. And overall, the black lines were not, did not transfer all the way through. So this is a clear case of the pressure not being enough. Now, if you look at the rabbit's ear, this is also apparent of it not having enough pressure and uneven pressure. You can see, if you look closely, the ear flap comes off a little bit. So this shows that there was not enough pressure when it was originally pressed down, and this is why it did fail the pressure test. So let's talk about the overall pros and cons of this heat press. 
So the pros here, first of all, aesthetically looking, it looks cool. It looks like a Foreman grill, but it, had, it does lack some features here. Now it is also under $300, so that's a really nice feature. It comes in at $279 on Amazon Prime. The wattage is very low. It is also 800 watts, so that's on a low end of a heat press. It has a very small footprint, so it's 22 by 19 inch by 11 inches height. So this is a very small footprint, especially compared to other heat presses. Another pro is also the controller. It was on the side. It's very easy to use. It's just, a, it's just going to be a turn knob that controls all the heat, all the settings. Everything is pretty much controlled through the knob, so that's also very easy. Now, the, the lower pad was also larger. We usually see a lot of issues with the pad being smaller, but the pad here is larger. Even though this is 11.5 by, by 15, the pad is large, so that's a nice thing here. And one of the things that stuck out as well is that it was very quick to heat up. It was under three minutes to hit 300 degrees. So again, a very quick heating heat press. It also has a nice customer service phone number that you can reach out to them. It has a one year warranty on all the parts here. So that's also nice that the company stands behind the heat press. And the main feature that we liked about this is that it is automatic. It has automatic timer, automatic clamp down and automatic release. So that is one of the main features that we like about it. Now let's talk about the cons here. Now the cons, the controller, it feels cheap, feels very flimsy. I don't know how long this is going to last, especially this knob, it just feels very, very cheap. I dislike the 15, the 15 by 12 inch footprint. It's just really not made for t-shirts. I really like the elongated version of this much better when it's like this, it's more made for a t-shirt. I don't really like this, how it's shaped. I don't like that it doesn't have a slide out deck. So it's very tight for you to actually arrange your shirt, align your shirt for the press. So that's one of the cons that I had about this. The heat, when we did the heat press test, it was actually on the low end. Overall, very low. You only had stable and, and decent heat in the middle, but everything else was very low. And the main thing is that it failed the pressure test. So one of the main things when you're talking about getting long lasting transfers is to have adequate pressure. You want to make sure that it is actually stamped onto the t-shirt, that is the transfers are ingrained on a shirt. And obviously this one lacked it, even though we were able to help it out with an extra padding. I think maybe with an extra two padding might have, might have uh, helped that even more. So that is one of the main reasons why we did not like this. Now I'm going to go ahead and rate this on a scale of one of five, we have a couple criteria that we follow and that helps us rank this. Now, first thing is gonna be the sturdiness. Now, overall, it had decent construction. It had a lot of plastic to this, but it is touchable to the hand. But again, the controller feels weak. So we're gonna give this a two out of five with the sturdiness. Now, as, it, as far as it being easy to use, we're gonna give it a four. We really like the automatic press and the automatic release and the automatic timer countdown. So those are very nice, easy for the consumer to use. Now for the pressure test, we're gonna give it a one. It failed our pressure test and it has no control knobs for us to adjust pressure. So you're pretty much stuck with the way that the pressure is set unless you do some modifications like what we had to do on this uh, heat press. Now for heat distribution, we're gonna give this one a two out of five. It heats up quickly but overall it had very low heat all around. It definitely is not enough. You're definitely gonna have to fire this way higher to compensate and get this up to 300 degrees. It is usable, but again, it didn't hit the, pre it didn't hit the correct temperature based off of what the controller knob said. Now, last but not least is gonna be the wash test. We're gonna give it a two because we did have to modify the press for the wash. Overall, it, it was like an 80% transfer. Uh, I just don't know the durability after 20, 30, 40 washes when you're using a press like this. So we're gonna give it a two out of five. Now, overall, with everything said and done, out of five, this one gets a 2.2. So our overall thoughts on this is save your money. There's better presses out there. We have a video where we compare other Amazon presses. Make sure you guys watch the other video. It's, it's very helpful. It goes very thorough into all the heat presses and all the tests that we vigorously do on these. And last, I wanted to mention that 
Um, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Uh, let us know any thoughts, anything that we should change or test here. Um, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you guys hit subscribe. I'll catch you guys on that next one.